AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawk Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Day State, Air Arms, Sports Match Rings UK, H&N Sport, Aztec Optics, and JSB Predator Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Guys, this is Dustin Harding, Marketing Manager for Athlon Optics. Hey, great to be here, bud. It is good to be with you, with them. Your stuff is just everywhere on the competitive circuit now, and it seems like, at least for me, it just kind of came out of nowhere a couple of years ago. Yeah, we've done pretty well in the shooting sports world in general. It's a community that we've, that they, they've supported us, and we're, we're supporting them this year, so. Uh, a lot of exciting things there. It's very nice to see you out here. There's lots of product on the table, guys. I've asked Dustin to bring us through what he feels like would be important to you. So, yeah. on you, sir. So since we're out here at Utah Air Guns uh, Rock Mountain Air Gun Challenge, uh, you know, I've talked to a few people, and it sounds like hunting from tripods is kind of really kicking up. It is. So new for us this year is a line of tripods. We've got a 40 millimeter leg option, a 36 millimeter, 32, and 29. So you're able to balance how much stability do you need versus how much weight do you want to have. Um, but the big boy here, it's going to hold an 88 pound, whatever you want to mount to this. <laughs> She's stout comes in 8.8 pounds. I was just going to say, it looks substantial. Before we hit record, I went and moved this over a little bit. And guys, look at this. Look at this. One arm just lifting this gigantic thing. It weighs nothing. So a cool thing on this tripod, it comes with everything you see plus more. You get the ball head, you get a leveling head, all the nylon accessories, molly wrapped, uh, leg wrap, or molly leg wraps, the shoulder pad, hammock, padded case, spiked feet. If they're, if they're new to hunting with a tripod, what does that ball head mean to them? So the ball head is going to allow you to transition from one target to another pretty uh -huh. fluidly, whether it's up, down, left, right. If you have your tripod set up on level, you can cant it and, and make that correction and, and make sure you're level on your target. Super cool. I think I, I, think I saw this in, in Keith's Prairie Dog hunting video, 68 Whiskey. Yeah. Is that this? I honestly am not sure. I bet you it was. That's where I think I saw this for the first time. It's an amazing product. Yeah. Well, your scopes are on powder burners. Now they're all over air guns. And I think in 2022, this community in particular is going to get real excited for some stuff we have coming out. Uh, can you talk about it yet? Or? I, won't, I won't say much now, but there, there's some stuff that I think this community is going to really clamor over. Sweet. Well, let's do this then. Do you want to grab a couple of yours that you feel like would mean the most to those guys that have a, uh, an air gun? Sure. And kind of just take them sure. through the feature benefit of the scope? Uh, so a couple of lines that I, I think you guys would appreciate, the Midas Tack line. Uh, very versatile scope, good glass, some mid-range uh, price point. Like where are we at? <sighs> so the big boy's going to be like just over 850. Okay. On the 34 millimeter, the 30 millimeter tubes, mm -hmm. a little bit less. But you're going to have this is the 30 millimeter option here. Uh, 80 MOA total elevation uh, adjustment. You've got um, this is a first local plane, so side parallax. Uh, this one's not illuminated, but the HD glass in it, you've got great light transmission. The reticles are fine, so even if you're on a bench and trying to shoot a good little bug hole group, the center dot in this doesn't cover up. It's not going to obscure your target. I was so, just going to ask you, like, nice I've, fine never, reticle. I've never shot an Athline, but like, what makes your scope so special? Like, I see them all over the place, so guys must love them for a reason. So, what's the story? Well, we design our scopes with a lot of consumer feedback from hunters, competitors, you name it. Uh, for us, we we're able to bring things to market and have the quality and still come in, you know, about 30% less than a lot of our competitors. Okay. So you've got the quality, but you've got a great price point, makes it affordable, and uh, there you have it. What, it. what is your window? You mentioned at 850, so what would be like kind of a spread? We start at 100 and go up to 1700. 100 to 1700. So what, what would be like in the $400 price point that's on the table, four to five? The $400 price point, Yeah. kind of our bread and butter is the Argos BTR Gen 2. Okay. Uh, precision zero stop, uh, good tactile clicks. You got 60 MOA to total elevation adjustment. Um, with most of our scopes, you've got down to a 10 yard minimum parallax. Nice. Uh, if, if not there, it's 25. 
for the majority of our scope, so you're going to get down to those close targets. Works out great. You have a lot of different reticles you guys run? We do, we do. Uh, both mill and MOA versions. Um, some lines will have multiple versions of a, of a mill reticle or an MOA reticle. Um, floating center dots have been very popular for us uh, because of that target obstruction that I mentioned. So we've incorporated that into a lot of lines and we'll probably continue to do so. What would be like one of your value price scopes, Dustin? Do you have one of those out here? Yeah. Um, we'll grab a hunting scope, so like a little Neos 3 to 9. This is going to come in at 110 bucks. Nice. Yeah, and the glass that you can take a look, it's it's above its price point. It's awesome. Wise, yep. but Playing with the notch above for sure. Yep. That looks great. Look at that truck down there and the gloss is just jumping off. Yep. It. We've got uh, several different types of lenses we run, whether it's the advanced fully multi-coated. Uh, we apply those same coatings to our HD lenses and our UHD, which is an extra low dispersion lens. It's going to cut out all that chromatic aberration, mm -hmm. um, mirage, and all that. It, it helps to, to cut through that as well. So. Awesome. So they work on uh, PCPs, they work on powder burners. Mm -hmm. Some of these guys shoot springers. Do you know if any of these are okay to yep. put on so a Yeah, so basically again? anything with an acronym after it, whether it's ETR, BTR, TAC, all of those are going to be springer capable. Um, you can put on your ELR rifle, go shoot your 375 shy tech or your 50 BMG, no problem. Wow. Uh, we've got some competitors that have taken our, our Pronus out to two miles in competition. Um, Jacqueline Bryan, I think she was, her and Shane were engaging a two mile target in like 45 mile an hour gusts and oh hitting it. That's amazing. So the, is, is this the $1,700 one? This one is. This, can, is, a, this can, is kind of the top of the line. Can you take us through it? Yeah. So again, we have the zero stop. Very tactile turrets. I mean, even in here with all the noise. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. You can feel it. I'm getting jolts up my wrist bone every time I turn <laughs> it. That's nice. Uh, this is a 4.5 to 29 by 56. Uh, the parallax on here, the range is significant. So you're starting at 25 yards. Okay. You're going out to 1600 before infinity. So if you are a powder burner, um, you, you're able to check that mirage at various distances as you're working out. Okay, cool. Um, even on the air gun side, though, you'll see this quite, quite often. Amazing. What's yeah. the warranty? What is Athlon? Like, how does that all work? Lifetime. Lifetime warranty? Lifetime. You can have a, a hunting accident, accidentally run over with your truck, send us a piece, we'll take care of you. What? Seriously? Yep. yep. That's, a, that's good yep. stuff. Now, I saw Dustin out here at Armac last year. Yes, here you are again, so I gotta ask, why Armac, brother? Well, this is an incredible event. The camaraderie, the people, uh, the, the community in general is, is very accepting. Um, it's just a great place to be. And Utah Air Guns, they, they put a lot into this event. Yes, they, they draw do. a heck of a crowd. Um, it's very well done. It's a great place to be, whether whether you're a competitor or if you're a bathlog. It's a great place to be. There's a lot of kindness, a lot of polish out here, too. There is. Everybody's there good. Is. Well, Dustin, I can't thank you enough. Are you competing out here this weekend? You have a team put together? I'm not, uh, but for those that are, yes, we're doing the Athlon Shooting Sports Give Back program Ooh. this year. So this is the, this community has supported us. We're supporting you guys this year. You don't even have to shoot an Athlon optic. We're giving away sixty-five thousand dollars total. All you have to wait, do, wait, to one person or spread out a month? Spread out. Okay. So. All you have to do is go shoot a match. You don't even have to use an Athlon Optic. You right. log the event on our website. You're not subscribing to anything. There's no catch or gimmick. We're gonna draw a name every quarter for $5,000 in cash and $5,000 in optics. Don't even have to be shooting an Athlon, just to support air guns. The shooting community in general. Any, all of it. can be archery, air shotgun, three gun, oh ELR, you name it. Log the event. You're here to win. It's as simple as that. Good on you guys. Where do they go to, to learn about this? Yeah, so athlonoptics.com slash give back. Okay. Uh, it's on our homepage as well. If you just go to athlonoptics.com, there's a banner, click on it, log the event. If you do happen to use an Athlon Optic, we really appreciate the support. So if you take first, second, or third using an Athlon, yes. at the end of the year, the grand prize drawing is for $20,000 Oh, cash so it does. They up the ante if you shoot the Athlon. Yep. There you go. But it's open to everyone on the yeah, quarterly no, drawings. I get it. So I like it something that, for everyone. I like it that you like to, for them to have some skin in the game. If, you know, for the for the coup de grace. That's about the community, right? Absolutely. We, we, uh, we can't do it without you guys, so. Dustin, I wish uh, anyone out here running your scopes this weekend good luck. And uh, thanks for your Thank time, you buddy. So much. Have a great week out here.